there and welcome to the fifth video in our series where we're looking at Bergmuller's Etudes Opus 100. Now in today's video I'm going to be having a look at number 12 in the set which is L'Adieu, the Farewell, their Abscheid. Now I think this is really one of the lesser known gems of the set. You don't often hear it played and I kind of know why but I just wish more people would play it because I, I think it's a, a wonderful piece. It starts with a little introductory section and then it goes into this very fast and furious um, passage. Let me just give you a little sense of, of that opening and of both sections. furious and that's probably why it doesn't get played quite as much as it should do but it is a study after all so this is it it's an interesting piece because it's actually written in common time in in 4-4 and yet for the majority it is in 12-8 so all this section really is in triplets and i hope you can hear there that the left hand is marking the right hand has got the sem the quavers triplet quavers over the top which is working mostly in six so you've got that little counter melody to to work out and bring out indeed and then of course you've got all the all the swirling bits going on there quite a lot of technical control and here what you've really got to combine is is fantastic finger work but the fingers have to be supported by tiny tiny little circular wrist motions but it's tiny tiny stuff that goes on um the opening is this lovely uh, almost like a recitative da, 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 da. most part except the middle section which is in C major and here Bergmuller does his stuff this time it's the left hand it's the bass line and of course it's sort of like a little broken chord it's exactly what it is and over the top piano and espressivo so there is possibly room there to use a bit of pedal or there is room to just just give and take a bit more than I was doing there it, it has a climax top highest note on on the uh, in the piece is that right tell her I know there's a higher one there's an A coming up later on um, but after this little bit going to a dramatic F minor chord so it's chord four because at this point we're in C major Ooh, I love that I love that it's actually I think a diminished chord what we've got going on there and then we're coming back he brings us back to so in the same way as we had an introduction we have a coda as well and this is where we get this top A because it has this little um, fleeting um, hmm, casting off, really. There it is. I love that. I love that. The, that feeling. Of the, let it travel in. The arm traveling up. Yeah, look how the arms are not pinned in, but actually helping the fingers. I have to be behind the fingers, 
that I want to actually, that, that are playing at the time. It's when you do that sort of thing and the little finger just stretches out. No, the arm takes the finger to the note, always. So it's a ballad, I think this is. It's not, it's not named that. I think it's a tarantella as well. It has a dance-like quality to it. But if you think of the title, The Farewell, L'Adieu, um, I think you could think of some really, really lovely stories to go with this. It has this breathless excitement. It's nervous. It swirls around. And uh, I was just thinking, you know, what you can have in this section, I think, is, in, you know, that feeling you get when you're about to go away, the day before you go away, and you've got a thousand and one things to do. And you've got to pack your case and, will I ever get it done? And there is that sense of apprehension in your in butterflies in your stomach and I think this is somebody for me this is somebody dashing around trying to get everything done going around in circles actually um, never ending circles and possibly um, sort of always coming back again dun, 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 uh, sort of ever decreasing circles and then maybe in this middle section this is saying goodbye to somebody this is a lot sweeter, a lot more lyrical, and um, you know you can imagine the the fond goodbyes that you have with people. And then, of course, you suddenly look at the watch and you think, oh, I've only got ten minutes just to finish my packing. And and then at the very end, they are saying goodbye as so they drive off down the road. We have a final goodbye at the end maybe they pop back and go yay so the farewell number 12 from Bergmuller's opus 100 pieces um i think it's rather over um over overestimated underestimated in turn and underplayed um but it's a great piece and full of character technical control needed to it Here's a performance of it to give you the big picture. Do join me again. Bye for now.